going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're all set up here in the clean room with our buddy Jeff from JG3D. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing a full scan on this 1965 Lincoln Continental with the latest Peel 3D scanner, the Peel 3. Before we get into this action, I just wanna let you guys know that Peel 3D has sent us this scanner to review for you guys. And while this episode is sponsored by Peel 3D, we've been using their products for a long time the scanning design, some really awesome builds, and some really cool parts. Peel 3D makes it super simple and affordable for smaller shops like us to break into the scanning and design world. Peel 3D is a sister company at Creoform, and if you know anything about the 3D scanning world, Creoform makes some of the highest end 3D scanners out there. And what they've done is taken all that R&D and made a much more price conscious model that still works amazing. This new Peel 3 scanner is two and a half times the resolution of its predecessor, it is more ergonomic and lightweight and makes it much easier to get into those tight spots, especially in the automotive industry. All right, well all this talking is awesome, but we got the scanner, we got this 1965 Continental behind us, so let's get to work. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to open up the software. So I got it loaded up, this is the PLOS software. This is a new scan of their scanning software. And then what we want to do is we want to plug it in. And now we can come over and hit new scan. It's gonna load up a new session for you. And here you have a few new parameters that are, that are new to this scanner. So you can choose what size exactly of a project that you're working on. Here we're scanning a car, so I'm gonna go with large. The level of detail that you wanna be involved in. And the output, we're gonna go with balanced. And then we're gonna come over here and click on the next screen. It's gonna start the scan. What I like to do is I like to calibrate before every time. In this calibration plate, you wanna treat just as nicely as you treat your scanner. Anything that's off on that is gonna make it off on here. So what we wanna do is go ahead and open that up. And we'll start scanning. Here we go. Easy as that. Nice and protected. And out of the way. Now it's all calibrated and we are ready to scan. All right, while Jeff was over there setting up the 3D scanner, I was over here positioning these targets on the front end of this Lincoln Continental. That way Jeff could come over and scan the front grille and the bumper. So these targets actually help the scanner find this area in 3D space. Because this is a very flat surface, there's not a whole lot of geometry going on, the scanner won't really be able to, to tell when you're moving it around. So you have to place a lot of these on an object like this, you know, as flat as it is. So while the targets are important for it to know where the scanner is located in space, another prep step, especially for shiny objects and dark objects like black, chrome, or even glass, what you want to use is a scan spray that will actually put on a dull finish on anything shiny or see-through that you want to get scanned. This product is great. It actually sublimates, so it means it just goes away over time. It doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. Picking up a good quality scan spray is definitely really recommended for any scanning job. Now that we're all dotted and sprayed, it's ready to get scanning. So one of the cool new features of the new PO3 scanner is this back touch screen. What this involves is it gives you a plus and minus, so it actually lets you zoom in to see what you're actually going to be scanning. So you can zoom in, zoom out, and then it also has a haptic feedback. So whenever you are scanning, if you go from green and you get too close and it goes into red, it'll actually vibrate a little bit and let you know that something's happening. So if you come out too far and it starts going into blue, it starts vibrating as well. It helps you keep it in that green area, which is the optimal scanning conditions. All right, so Jeff, now that you got your scan and we got a really cool picture of the front end of the 65 Continental on the computer, what can you do with this? Well, in all reality, sky's the limit. I mean, you have that right there on your computer. If you wanted to make a new grill, new headlight buckets, if you wanted to alter the suspension and see ground clearance, make a front splitter, make a new emblem on the top, I mean, this is your base part of where you can start. So this is 
just taking so much time out of the process of measuring by hand and all the human errors that would be involved. We could design and build some really cool cosmetic parts, but I also know from the usage we've done in the shop, we could do some really awesome performance parts as well, right? Absolutely, yeah, in fact, why don't we just pop the hood and we can start scanning the engine bay and I can show you what this thing can do. Let's do it. All right, Jeff, you got the hood up, you got your dots placed. Can I be the one to spray it? <laughs> you can if you want, but actually, with a little bit of road dust and sediment on there, it's actually taking a lot of the shiny off. All right, well, if I can't spray, can I at least be the one to scan it? Yes, Mikey, you can scan it. First time scanning, what do you think? Well, I've seen the scanner being used in my shop many times and I've never I've never put my hands on it. I've always thought, wow, that thing looks really complicated. I didn't think I was able to do it. Within 10 minutes of me holding this scanner, I was able to scan the complete engine compartment of the 65 Continental. So, I mean, super easy. I feel like anybody can do it. That's kind of the beauty of the new software, especially for that Peel has uh, implemented too, is that it's very user-friendly. It really walks you through step-by-step -step of all the processes of cleaning it up. Now that we have an awesome picture on our computer screen of the complete engine compartment, what do you do from here? The sky's the limit. I mean, if you wanted to start mocking up different engines, if you wanted to start making beauty panels, hood fitments, Anything that you would want to design or make parts for, you can utilize this scan, this data, as reference and start building off of. So basically what I'm getting from that is, us being an automotive performance shop, we want to do a engine swap. We want to put a modern drivetrain in this Lincoln Continental. Let's say we want to put a 7.3 Godzilla motor in this car, which would never come like that. So you're able to throw a, a, a file, a digital file of that motor into this car, Right before we even go touching anything, yep. you're able to check fitments such as like hood clearance, radiator clearance, motor mounts, all that kind of stuff before we go bringing a, a sawzall or a die grinder over to it. If we were to take that motor out and scan it, and I can get all the motor mount points and everything like that, very easily could I take the scan of a Godzilla motor, pop it in, check the hood clearance, build motor mounts, all that jazz can go and be created right there on the computer. So we can save hours, if not weeks worth of work to fix things just from scanning an engine compartment. So I would say that's a win. And not even just that, I mean, we could do I mean, beauty panels, we could do valve covers, we could do air intakes. I mean, sky's the limit. So instead of making it in real life, making cardboard templates, making, I mean, just trial and error, you can draw it all on the computer, render it, see how it looks before you even touch a piece of material. All right, well, Jeff, if you're a guy like me and you think CAD stands for cardboard aided design, like what do you do with this file at this point? Well, the beauty of it is it's, it's, it's a file, a file that can be sent electronically, no problem to someone like me or anyone, any kind of engineer that, can, that knows how to utilize scan data. Once you have the data, you can be anywhere to work on it. You could find someone in India or right across the street. It's all digital at this point. This is an awesome tool to have in your shop at an awesome price. It saves you a whole lot of time, and as you know, time is money. If you guys have any questions about this product or any other products from Peel3D, go ahead and give the guys or email them at Peel3D. They're awesome about customer service. Well, I'm going to take these files back to my office, and I'm going to take something digital and turn it into something physical, and I'll whip you out a little trinket. A souvenir! <laughs> We are going to take the scan of the front end of the Lincoln Continental and actually take the emblem and actually make a 3D print file and turn it into a physical product. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some basic planes that are going to be used to get an X, Y, and Z axis. And now what I'm doing is going around and making cross sections. So cross sections, I can go and take planes and actually get sketch entities from the data. So 
that's what I'm doing here is importing all the parts into SolidWorks, all my planes, all my lines, all of my uh, cross sections. And then I'm gonna make it nice and tidy inside of SolidWorks. Yeah, and now we got a, a nice and neat top half of the emblem. So lastly, what I'm gonna do is throw some threads on here. This had a 1024 thread on it. And now we're gonna jump into Cheeto Box and um, get this thing ready for 3D printing in the resin. I'm uh, placing the manual supports everywhere. all cured I'm gonna run it through a little die just to clean up the threads just a little bit and you can see perfectly just like the original bolt goes right on where it's supposed to go all right guys so we finally got our custom printed Lincoln Continental emblem back from Jeff and I know it may not be as cool and as high horsepower as custom motor mounts for a Godzilla motor for this thing it may not be as trick as a custom grill but it is something that you may need to do one day when you're redoing a custom car, or any car for that matter. Sometimes it's hard to put your hands on, on trim pieces and other parts. As long as you have a 3D scanner and a computer and the know-how, you can pretty much reproduce any part on a car. So, if you guys like what I said about the Godzilla in this car, then you're in luck, because that's exactly what we're doing to this thing. This is one of our next shop projects. We're completely overhauling the drive chain this thing. We're putting a new Rytec air suspension on it. So like, subscribe, and get ready for the Lincoln Continental build. We'll see you on the next one. See you later.